Welcome back Photoshop users. Today I'm going to just talk about uh, contact sheets in or proof sheets in Photoshop and not sure if you guys know that you can do this. We can do it in Bridge and Bridge is probably a better place to create your proof sheets or your contact sheets. Gives you a little more uh, reference or a little more feedback as to what you're doing on your columns and your rows and it actually displays the images for you to see what you're doing. In Photoshop, maybe not as much uh, interactive display. So, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here under File. And we're gonna pull down here to Automate. And then we'll come over here to Contact Sheet 2. And you'll get this little display window to pop up and the first thing you want to do is choose where those images are at so I'm going to choose they're in this folder and then I will click on this little choose button and I'll go locate it it happens to be already located for me so I'll say open if, if you don't have it you'll have to go and, and kind of scroll through all of your files and stuff and find the file that you actually want to um, create a contact sheet for and we're going to choose inches and I want mine to be horizontal or landscape so I'm going to type in 11 for my width, 8 and, eight and a half for my height now for printing purposes we probably don't have to have this at 300 and certainly if, we're, if you're just going to keep this at uh, a computer display uh, version you could take this down to 72, it'll probably go a little bit quicker I'm going to go ahead and type in 150 here. Color mode is RGB color, sure. And we can even assign a color profile. And as you guys know, I usually like to use that Adobe RGB 1998. Seems to be the best um, for our purposes. And we can keep it in a layered file or we could actually flatten it once it opens all these files. And this is really just a script that Photoshop is going to run. It's going to open all these files, scale them to fit. So I'm going to go uncheck that so we can actually see the layers. And then you get to choose how many columns you want uh, to go across or down first, across first. I know that I only have uh, six, three, six images, so I just need three columns and two rows. So I know that that's going to work best for me. And we could change, I'm going to use this auto scroll, auto spacing. We could um, actually uncheck that and create our own spacing. And I'm going to leave this rotate for best fit unchecked. I don't want any of my images to rotate. In other words, that would take you, some of your verticals or your horizontals and rotate them to best fit onto your image. And then we could actually choose the font. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to just change it to Ariel because that's Ariel or Ariel, whatever you call it. And um, that's good. I'll take it down to 10 point. I don't need a huge font underneath one. Alright, so we have that created and we could save this as a custom, so in other words if we want to run this again we could. So if you want to save this format or that setup, then I would go ahead and save it. We'll say OK. It, launched, or it opens up a new window in Photoshop and you'll see over here on my layers how Photoshop's just automatically generating those images, putting a mask around them, positioning them and then placing the type underneath. And when it's all done, you have your contact sheet. And we could have done uh, you know, six columns, eight columns, five rows, whatever you want to. It's just that the images, images would be smaller. So, and remember, we unchecked that flattened images, so it left everything in uh, layers. So if you want to flatten it, we could do so now. We could just merge all these layers down or we could go back and check that box to make sure that it flattens after it creates the contact sheet. Like I said, this is one way to do it. You can certainly do it in Bridge. I choose to do it in Bridge. It's a little more uh, user-friendly, I think, than in Photoshop. So 
you decide what, which way you want to do a contact sheet and um, get comfortable with working with whichever workflow you choose. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial.